uh, as we watch what's now happening, uh, China is stressed because what Russia is doing is blatantly contradicts China's fundamental principles for international relations. But China not only says, but I think the Chinese government believes in the foundations of the UN Charter, including sovereignty and territorial integrity. No one can deny that Russia's invasion uh, coming on the heels of it previously uh, seizing Ukraine, sorry, say seizing Crimea is not consistent with territorial integrity. So that's made the job of the foreign ministry very, very difficult. And you can see them been trying to figure out some, you know, some path here. But at the same time, I argue in this piece that uh, given China's interests and it, uh, that where it has to make hard choices, it will have uh, Putin's back. I think they show some kind of empathy to each other because they, they all feel the, the sanction and things like that. But that statement, you know, I think there's a misunderstanding. That it was, should not be in, interpreted as, as, as common kind of lines. China does not seek alliance with any other countries. It's not a military alliance. Uh, they just boldly uh, laid out some of the, their views of the world, how the global governance, how, how they can cooperate and, and, and things like that. So, so I think it's a bit overread of that uh, uh, statement. China state very clear that uh, you, Ukrainian sovereignty uh, you know, should be respected, uh, as also means the one you said, the Munich Security Conference. So I think absolutely, you know, it, it would be great. I think China can, can do something because uh, uh, China, if you look at a country that has both good relations with Ukraine and the Russian, you probably wouldn't find the second most influential country in the world to have that position. So China could use that position because China also has a vital interest with European countries. Ukraine is a signing party to the Belt and Road Initiative. China has a 16 plus one initiative. The, the continental, you know, speed rail, the train cargo actually uh, has gone up 50 times for China uh, and Euro, European uh, continental uh, train uh, shipment. So, so there's vital interest for China to see the security and, and the prosperity in Europe as well. So, uh, and also China is the largest trading partner uh, with Europe as, as, as well. So uh, again, I, I think it would be great uh, if, uh, if China is invited to the table and then uh, use its uh, good uh, goodwill to really s make sure this uh, conflict is not escalated and de-escalate that, and China certainly can, can play much role there.